Good evening and welcome to Brandon House Live on frankspeech.com and lindelltv.com. My guest tonight is Mike Lindell live from Los Angeles as he's getting ready to be a guest tomorrow night on Jimmy Kimmel and we're excited to have him with us. Mike, welcome. Glad you're with us tonight live from LA. Yeah, it's great out here. We just got here. I talked to the producers on Jimmy Kimmel today, and uh, I'm looking forward to going on the show tomorrow. It's going to be a big night. I know a lot of people are having watch parties. I know we are, and everybody's going to be pretty excited to see how this goes off. Um, We're also really excited, Mike, about the uh, Frank Rally taking place May 10th in Mitchell, South Dakota at the Corn Palace. Um, yeah. Wait a minute here. Somebody's calling me on my phone here. It's on vibrate, but somebody's hey, calling me. It's probably that, it's probably that prank caller that keeps. Calling <laughs> I I hope not. But wait a minute. I think this might be an important call. Let me let me see who this. Hello, Mike. It's it's Jimmy Kimmel. Oh my word! It, <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel. Oh my word! Jimmy Kimmel is calling in. Oh my, Jimmy. Uh, I don't know what to say. I can't believe you're. You're calling in. I mean, because after all, you've been a little tough on Mike. Mike Liddell, with whom I am obsessed, doesn't seem to understand. I'm his biggest fan. I don't, I have no idea what he's doing, but I love it. I do have to say his enthusiasm is infectious. Well, it, it, it is infectious. That's right. Wow. Um, well, I, I didn't prepare any notes. I didn't know you're going to be calling in. I guess the first thing that comes to my mind is, I mean, if you if you could have a guest, uh, you know, that you could pick a year ago, who, who would have been the most popular guest you would want to have on? Mike Lindell, America's favorite. Well, yeah, that's true. He is America's favorite. I, I'd have to agree with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing, Mike. I can't believe it. Okay, Jimmy, 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 uh, you've been talking an awful lot about frankspeech.com. I mean, I can't believe how much you're talking about it. So what is your favorite website right now? frankspeech.com. I highly recommend it. This is a huge <laughs> undertaking. I recommend it. Yeah, you recommend it. Well, good, 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 good. Okay, uh, you know, Mike thinks that once you two get to know each other and you explore the website a little bit more, he thinks it might be the first website you visit every morning, maybe even for show prep. What do you think? He's right. <laughs> He's right. That's right, right, right. Okay, hey, uh, Jimmy, wh- go ahead. Let's let's let you guys talk. Let's let you guys talk. Mike, it's, it's Jimmy Kimmel. Can you hear me? So, uh, hey, Jimmy, I hear you watch 22 hours of the Frankathon. I have to admit, I was glued to this. I want this Frankathon to go on forever. Oh, thanks, Jimmy. I appreciate you watching and promoting Frank speech to the whole nation. So, Jimmy, what do you think about the 22 hours that you did watch? That Frankathon was a wonder to behold, from beginning to end. Wow, from beginning to end. Well, well, I appreciate you inviting me on your show. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Beyond excited to have you. Well, I know these interviews on your show go really fast. If you're if you're really that excited to spend some time together, I can clear clear my calendar and come on over to the studio a little early and hang out with you if you want. Come over, come over. <laughs> come over, come over. I got the lights That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Well, Jimmy, is there anything else you want to say to Mike before we uh, let you go? I want to thank Mike Lindell and wish him the best of luck. Very good talking to you, Mike. Uh, Wow, that, I still can't believe Jimmy Kimmel just called in. You know, Mike, you guys might have more in common than you realize. You know, actually we do. And uh, I'm going to read something. Last summer, they, they were trying to cancel out Jimmy, and it was very disturbing, this cancel culture that we're living in. And, you know, it happened to, uh, it's happening to me, many, many, many people. Uh, I'm talking to Alan Dershowitz the other day, but he was on a show that happened to him. But they really went after Jimmy last summer. And I want to read what, what he wrote. He wrote, I know that this will not be the last I hear of this, and that will be used again to try and quiet me. I love this country too much to allow that. I won't be bullied into silence by those who feign outrage to advance their oppression and genuinely racist agendas. And you know what? I, this is what this is the commonality. We all love our country. We love our country. But yet when someone decides that they're going to cancel someone for something in their past or something that they don't they don't want to hear about. I mean, it's just wrong. And that's what we're all talking about is free speech, freedom of speech. Um, that's what Frank's all about. You know, to get out, people need to talk. And, I, you know, that's the thing that I think uh, tomorrow when Jimmy and I are together. Um, that's one of the, the commonality is you can't lose free speech. I mean, he look at his whole show's based on that. 
That's right. His whole show is based on free speech. And you know, the left and the right, Republicans, Democrats, independents, we all ought to agree on the ability to have free speech. In fact, I know people on the right and the left have often said, I don't have to agree with what you're saying, but I will defend your right to say it. And that's really the essence of frank speech. And wow, what, what a call. I still can't believe you called in. Folks, we need to kind of take a break right here uh, and regroup and uh, kind of catch our breath from that amazing historic phone call. We'll be right back with Mike Lindell. Don't go away.